Hi everybody! Welcome back to another character drawing show with me, Aviva, your art director from the uh, Azur Family Center! Today we're going to be doing a character that uh, is honestly one of just my favorite characters in TV or movie history to be honest. One of, she is Miss Piggy, the infamous Miss Piggy. Oh, she is just so glamorous, so wonderful, just like a curvy queen and we love it. And I am just so excited to be doing her as a character today. And she's a great example of a live action character that we can turn into a cool, funky cartoon kind of style. So if you're here to draw a really fun character with me today, make sure you have a good pencil with an eraser on the back. Make sure you have a nice sturdy surface to draw on. We don't want any lumps or bumps in our work. And, um, really we can really get started you know in the past we've already done kermit the Fo frog as well so i think we can see him right 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 there <laughs> in one of our windows but if you haven't seen that video go should go check it out it's on our youtube and way back in our facebook history <laughs> but um let's get started you're here to draw right come on all righty here is our miss piggy she's so glorious very classic looking beauty, <laughs> but we are going to draw her today. She has got these beautiful eyes that I'm so excited to draw. So we are going to start with her face shape today. All right. We're just sticking with her head um, because, you know, her outfits change all the time and it's so hard to choose one of her best costumes because she's always a performer always have some incredible co costume changes. So we want to find like a shape that her head is very similar to. So you can see that she's got these round cheeks and pretty round shaped head. And she's looking straight at us. She's very um, symmetrical, like we've talked about in a lot of our other characters. So let's just make a nice light circle in the middle of our page. I'm going very light with our pencil and we're just kind of mapping out where we're going to put her lovely face. All right. And I'm going to make these edges of her face a little bit more curved, making some nice parentheses shapes. And you can see I'm going back and forth with my pencil to really find that perfect line because once I have a general shape, I can kind of carve it out with my pencil, all those little extra lines, and find maybe my favorite line with all those little back and forth movements that I just made. So now that I've got two nice cheek shapes, she's got these lovely big cheeks, kind of like how I have. That's why I, I like her a lot too. We've got similar round faces. <laughs> all right, so now we've got the cheeks and we can start our way in to connect them on the bottom. And I'm just coming in with a nice kind of curved line, keeping it kind of straight across still, and then just reaching the other side. Doing the same thing again, racing those extra lines. And now we have kind of like this flat U shape, right? And you can see with our Miss Piggy, her mouth is open. And when you touch your chin and you open your mouth, you can see that your chin moves down with your mouth as well. So we want her chin to come down a little bit as well. So we're gonna erase right in the middle of that line that we just made. And let's make a very soft V shape two nice diagonal lines coming down and connecting with a nice soft curve in the middle. We've got a nice chin here on her, the, the hairs of her chinny chin chin, right? Cause she's a pig. No hairs on this lady though. She's She's got a very smooth face it looks like. Um, all right, so now we can start to move our way up. I would go into the hair first, but I think it's best to work our way out today but you know that's just my style you're here to just practice your drawing skills you're more than welcome to start at any other part of the face i'm going to start with her nose and then do her mouth just to give us a nice base to work off of because now we can do this nice like roundish rectangle that she has in the middle of her face for her snout all right so kind of like a round rectangle 
just like that. Let me darken it a little bit so you guys can see it. Nice round corners. And there we have her snout. And on the for the nostrils of her snout are two C shapes facing each other. Very skinny C's. I'm going to bring them a little bit closer to you so you can see. It's not like a fully closed circle how we would usually make with nostrils. Usually for pigs, they've got those kind of skinny nose holes. So we're just making two little C shapes facing each other. And then we can do this cute little mouth that she has here. And we can work our way down. And she's got this nice open mouth. Maybe she's singing a little song or gossiping to her fellow chicken friend. But she's got like a lady chicken friend that I think is... Um, gr I always forget what his name is with the... If you guys remember the name of the Muppet with the really great nose and he's married to the chicken, comment below because I'm, I'm not remembering what his name is. So if you know, give me a hint. Let me know what that character's name is. Um, all right. So you can see for the mouth that I made this kind of arch shape underneath the nose, followed by the same little arch right underneath it. And right at the bottom of the snout on those two corners, we're gonna make two little curved lines coming out the bottom. And these are gonna be like how her cheeks are coming in. Her cheeks are kind of peeking out behind her snout. All right, doesn't it look like Miss Piggy yet, but you just wait, stick with me. All right, so we're gonna go about an inch up above the head here. Might be a little bit helpful to do a little light line in between to make sure that they're nice and symmetrical. And we're going to make two pea-sized eyes. Just like that. You can just start with two circles, perfect circles. If you have, what I like to do if I'm practicing circles a lot too, is you can look at things around your house that might be similar size and circle, and you can use it as almost like um a tracer, you know? So if I had like the tip of a straw, you know, the tip of the straw would be a great reference for this size of circle. And you just trace the bottom of the straw. All right, just like that. And we got two nice shaped eyes there. All right, perfect for seeing her sweet Kermie, right? All right, so now we can do her lovely eyes. The eyes for Miss Piggy are, are a staple, right? Because she's got these glamorous slanted eyes, right? These, they're, um, they're kind of downwards on the edges, very glamorous. So we're going to make two diagonal lines at the tops of the eyes here for those beautiful eyelids that she's got. And if you'd like to add a little bit of pizzazz to them, you can thicken up that line on the edge, give her a nice eyeliner, maybe even give her some lashes. I like to curl out that line that we just made. I'm just curling it out for some nice lashes, giving her a little bit of drama as she deserves, just like that. And then we can go in to her uh, irises and cornea. We can do what we've done in many other characters where we just do like kind of like a half circle. The circle is just kind of peeking out of the bottom here. And we're going to do that same thing again for the, for the pupil, just a little bit smaller this time on the inside of that circle. So in total, we're going to have about three circles here. I'll bring it up a little bit closer for you friends to see. So we've got an outer circle, inner circle, and a little tiny baby inner circle for that people. You can even color that in. If you have a white marker, you can make a little white dot in the middle for some shine. And so we've got her lovely eyes and we can make her hair now. So you can see that her hair can swoop over maybe one of her eyes. If you still have that middle guideline, you're going to want to make a little V at the top 
in between her eyes there, right where her forehead would be, right? This is going to be where her hairline is, right? Curving it over to the sides. Nice swoop. And you can even extend it out for the hair. She's got that kind of fair faucet curl out just like this. Very glamorous. All right. And then you can just do whatever hairstyle you'd like for Miss P Piggy because she's really, she's got a different wig on, I think, for every single show that she does. Sometimes it's long. Sometimes it's short and like a little bob. You can even put her in some braids and she could be like farm girl, Miss Piggy. Totally up to you. Today I'm going to stick with this nice like wavy bob. You can even add like a little curved waved point at the bottom. Just add some lines through your hair too to show that it's nice and curved and wavy. Totally up for you, up to you. I'm going to make her have these little swoops at the edge, a few extra lines in the middle. And so once you choose whatever hairstyle you'd like her to have, you can come in at the top here and you can see her ears are always peeking out of the top of her hairdo, right? So to do that, no matter what hairstyle you chose, you can add a slightly curved line on both sides. And that's going to be like where the ears are peeking out behind the hair. So you can make two like bunny shaped kind of ears here. She's got a little bit of a tip to them as well. If you want to go a little bit skinnier at the top, curving it over. Got a nice little tip there. It's not a perfect circle. And then come into the middle and you can make that little inner ear because she's got that little pink inner fold. Just like that. And then you can just finish off the hair by making that same kind of mark that we did for the hairline in the middle, curving it around and just kind of connecting it by curving it around to the rest of the hair and you can make it look a little bit more fluid by making some parts curl in and some parts go over totally up to you but then we want to just finish off our miss piggy today with some pearls i like to do some u-shape half circles just underneath her chin so we won't see the full pearls because they're they're kind of sticking out from underneath her face but there we have it our little miss piggy so um miss piggy has a tan skin tone some beautiful blonde hair i think she's usually a blonde so but choose whatever you'd like the best part about character drawing is that you can really make it however you'd like really personalize it <laughs> and just go just have fun with it. You know, I think in the past, one of our guests, Milo, he made Piglet have this really cool hat. Um, oh, wait. Yeah, wait. Or you know what? Our friend Maya as well made Mike Wazowski into like <laughs> this really cool party hat character. So add your own flair onto it because... As we know, these are someone's original design. So if you're ever using someone else's artwork as an inspiration, you always want to add your own little pizzazz, little flair. So maybe later on, I'll make her like a lavender Miss Piggy or something along those lines. But I hope you had fun today drawing with me. I had certainly a good time drawing with you. And I hope you had a lot of fun. So, um, Make sure to go online at tafc.org and look at all of our incredible classes that we're doing in person. We are having two in-person classes on Sunday starting out um, 
on, I think it starts at 11.30 a.m. to one for my uh, painting class that happens every Sunday, which is really fun. And also uh, Miss Judy, our lovely art director at the center has an incredible music class happening on the same day from 11.30 to I'm pretty sure around like 12.30. So go ahead, check it out. And also look at some information about Camp Ed this summer, because that'll be really fun as well. You don't have to come for the whole summer. You can just come for one week or just try it out for a few days, but we're going to be having so much fun, so many fun themed ideas, I games and dancing and gardening and arts and music. So, so many fun act activities at the center, um, but I'll see you guys next time, okay, for another character drawing class. Send me your ideas. Comment below if you have a character that you want me to see you want me to draw next time? All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you next. Uh, what day is it today? Thursday. <laughs> See you next Thursday. Bye, guys.